Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Sienten. Nagaland Excise Department has asked the general public and local residential authorities to report any use of alcohol during the election campaign to the Enforcement Authority. The department also urged the public to give inf- information on any suspected activities such as stockpiling, location of illicit liquor, go-downs, etc. A public notice issued by Commissioner of Excise, H. Atoke Aye, stated that any such information can be conveyed to Assistant Commissioner Enforcement by calling to the number 8974318888. I repeat, 8974318888. It also said that checked vigilance and surveillance have been intensified and tightened and regular frisking operations of suspected vehicles would be the order of the day. In addition, commercial shops, restaurants, hotels, lodgings would also be subjected to frequent checkings and surprise inspections. It said the folders would be penalized with punitive measures. The notice also informed that there will be a regular round the clock 24 into 7 NVCP and STF patrols in all the districts the notice was issued in view of the enforcement of modal code of conduct in the state minister for power and new and renewable energy r k singh has stressed that india is taking synchronized policy action to develop a low carbon ecosystem in the energy sector He was speaking yesterday at a country strategy dialogue organized by the World Economic Forum in Davos. In the forum, Singh highlighted India's achievements in the power and renewable energy sectors. He described India's roadmap for green hydrogen and 500 renewable energy capacity by 2030. Singh also talked about the round the clock renewal of energy power transmission augmentation and investment opportunities in these areas the minister said that india strongly plays the policy action being taken to reduce carbon emissions under india's voluntary commitment Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla said that Parliament of India will hold the P20 conference of the parliament speakers of the G20 nations this year He said as the world's largest democracy India will try to effectively resolve global issues through this platform holding a meeting with Tanzania's prime minister Kasim Majaliwa yesterday Pirla also called for joint efforts to abate global issues such as climate change Pirla expressed pride over the historical relations between the two maritime nations that developed on the basis of mutual political understanding their faith in democratic systems of governance and multifaceted economic commercial relations over the centuries pirla also lauded the indian community in tanzania for their contribution to tanzania's economic development prime minister narendra modi has shared a compilation on the role of parents during exam preparation from exam warriors sharing a tweet on his blog the prime minister said over the years bariksha bay chacha has also presented parents with an opportunity to learn about the latest trends in education and gain a better understanding of the challenges their children face the prime minister will interact with students teachers and parents in the 6th edition of bariksha bay chacha on the 27th of this month chief minister nipirio extended happy Kauzausi Hokka to the brothers and sisters from the Kumikin community Rio hoped that the essence of the festival which is reconciliation peaceful coexistence and friendship strengthened bonds the chief minister also wished the community for a safe celebration a sensitization workshop on G20 environment and climate sustainability will be held in Bengaluru today and the stakeholders involving the forest departments of all the states associated international organizations knowledge partners local influential persons media and community representatives will take part in the workshop it will deliberate on the identified themes and sub themes listed for discussion during the first G20 working group meeting on environment and climate sustainability The first meeting of the G20 working group on environment and climate sustainability will be held in Bengaluru from 9 to 11 of February. With that we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.